Danielle Fling, and I'm currently in grade 6. I'm in class 61 from my school called Alfred Nobel School, and the short version is AMS. Some of my hobbies are playing video games, um, drawing, and designing outfits. So today, I'll be covering the topic of talking about a project that you're planning to do or implementing. Now, I have done lots of projects before, like art-related things or games that I've created. Now, you might be wondering, hmm, which, well, which project are you going to talk about? Well, it's none from the above, and it's far more complex and differs from those. You might be wondering, hmm, then what can it be? Well, I'll give you a hint. It is... It will be way too hard for just a sixth grader like me to handle, and it will take weeks, months to improve from. Now, I'll sh now if you guessed, hmm, is it a huge canvas that you're going to paint on? Is it a game style you're gonna that you've never experienced before? Is it sort of a fashion style that you've been curious and never really tried before? Well, you'd be wrong if you guessed those. The project that I'm going to be talking about is actually me and a few friends and help from our parents making a class for students from the age of 7 to 8. Now, I know that a lot of you are going to be very interested in what we're going to do in this class. So, here is an overall plan and a brief introduction to it. It will be a one-hour online class every Wednesday, and the time is from 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. In this class, we encourage every student to speak English and read books. We are also teaching them about basic grammar and how to speak English more fluently and improve their summary skills. Now, in every class, we'll take a short story or a snippet from one and let them read for around five to seven minutes. And afterwards, we ask our students a few questions related to the story that we gave, that we gave them to test out their observing skills. And each time they answer something correct, they get a little star. Then we'll let them do a little quick summary about the story that they've read. Then we check the summaries and give comments about what they should improve, like about their grammar or the way that they should organize it. And then lastly, we focus on some grammar. And also, in addition, we also give them games, quizzes, and breaks. Now, since we're going to do it for a year, we're going to improve slowly and grow our platform even more. And with that in mind, I really hope this project will succeed and help others improve their skills in English. And with all that, thank you for listening. Bye!